Hi class, my name is Mohammed Prince. This is my week three discussion post. So overview, I'm gonna go over things that need, uh, something that needs to be changed, um, three themes, um, and then uh, the uh, theories to go with those themes, and then uh, a conclusion. So what needs to be changed is the, we need to decrease the caseload of public defenders. So uh, typically public defenders have around 50 to 100 cases each. In recent times, especially after the pandemic, this has gotten up to 250 to 300. Um, the targeted caseload will be to reduce under 100 cases per public defender. The three themes are hiring and planning, training, and implementation. So hiring and planning, I want to uh, use uh, POSD, CORB uh, theory of Gulick to um, describe that. Um, this theory uh, has seven key functions, planning, organizing, staffing, directing, coordinating, reporting, and budgeting. I'm going to talk about planning and staffing. So planning refers to the establishment of the work. Um, and it's processes are incorporated to implement um, implement the work within the organization. Um, so uh, staffing involves selecting and recruiting the correct applicants um, for the specific job. And it facilitates their training and orientation while um, keeping them motivated in a uh, promising work environment. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, also, I want to discuss uh, Gulick's division of work. So, Gulick believes that for effectiveness and efficiency in an organization, dividing and entrusting the work to the people um, is, is needed. So, uh, Gulick's labor division is a basic principle of an organization, and he believes that it's the reason for an organization's existence. Large, large organizations require many people to conduct their activities, and um, this is the best way of maximizing results in an environment or an organization which many people are working together um, is through the division of work. So training, I'm going to talk about uh, transformational leadership. Oh, also uh, scientific management. Uh, I wanted to use that theory um, to monitor the number of cases that these public defenders have and um, be able to track the um, correlation of a positive and negative outcome based on how many um, cases these public defenders have at a given time. I think that scientific management um, and its data-driven focus can be used to determine that. Um, but uh, in transformational leadership, um, this is a leadership theory where the leader works with the followers to identify the changes that are needed um, and execute the change within a group of highly committed followers. This is similar to a democratic style of leadership, not necessarily autocratic, um, because the democratic style of leadership is more uh, cooperational and uh, transformational leadership has that as well. Um, and then also I wanna talk about the adult learning theory which is a concept or study of how adults learn and how it differs from children. As we grow older, we shift away from being dependent in our learning and being more independent. Um, therefore, we prefer to learn um, in a more self-directed approach as opposed to being instructor-led. Um, and as adults, we want our learning to be actually applicable to our work and our everyday lives instead of being general learning about a specific subject. Um, so that's really what the adult learning theory um, is about and, and how it can uh, assist in adult training in an organization. Um, and implementation, um, I want to discuss Lynn Bloom's muddling through theory. So uh, change in a bureaucratic organization, um, Lynn Bloom felt that it should be done incrementally instead of making one huge leap towards solving a problem the incremental model of uh, Lindblom's incremental model breaks down the decision-making process into smaller steps. The process of uh, moving between those steps, that's what is known as muddling through. And it's based on a combination of experience and 
um, intuition, as well as different techniques. Um, and McGregor's theory X and theory Y is used to explain the differences in motivation. Um, theory X is a pessimistic, a pessimistic view of a worker. It assumes that people are lazy and have to be coerced or um, tricked into being productive. McGregor argued that the old view, um, theory X, assumed that workers preferred to be directed and wanted to avoid responsibility. And um, they cherish financial security above everything else. Theory Y adopts a more optimistic view of uh, employees. Um, it, it says that humans uh, or employees learn to accept and seek their responsibility. Uh, most people possess a high degree of problem solving ability and employees will self govern or self direct themselves towards goals um, that they have in their work and their satisfaction is comes through self actualization and um, their most important needs um, are as long as their needs are met by the organization, they'll be productive in their job roles. So in conclusion, we discussed um, hiring and planning and the POSD CORB theory, as well as scientific management and how that can be used to track the positive and negative outcomes of cases um, based on that public defender's caseload. Um, and training, we discussed transformational leadership as well as the adult learning theory and how that's used in training. And then implementation, we discussed Lynn Bloom's uh, incremental model and muddling through, as well as McGregor's theory X and theory Y of motivation. So I just want to say thank you for watching.